I'm Velen, and welcome to our World's Creator Academy tutorial on importing and generating textures. Imagine captivating your visitors with unique, immersive environments filled with detail and texture. Now imagine leveling up your world with custom textures in just a few clicks. The latest AI tools make it possible. We'll explore how to enhance the visual quality of your worlds by importing custom textures and materials, generating unique textures using the power of Gen AI, and understanding how lighting affects the appearance of textured models. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have the knowledge and skills to create visually stunning environments and engage and immerse your visitors. First, let's discuss how to import textures along with your custom models. So in this case, we go into our desktop editor, and under My Assets and Public Library, we select Add New and 3D Model. From here, you'll select your FBX and PNG file and select then Import. We've already imported ours for our duck frames and our duck body. To ensure your textures import correctly, follow these naming conventions. You want to identify the texture type that you want to apply to your model, for example, Unlit Texture. Then you'll name your model's material without special characters or spaces and use underscores when needed to designate a material tag. For example, the material could be named crystal underscore unlit. And then finally, you will want to name the texture PNG file using the material name with an underscore and the corresponding suffix. In our example, crystal underscore b dot PNG. Once your files are properly named, import the model in texture using the desktop editor. When importing textures, keep these optimization tips in mind. You'll want to use the smallest texture size that still maintains visual quality. From there, you want to offer power of two sizes like 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024. This helps with image compression. You want to pack and share textures when possible also to reduce memory usage. By following these guidelines, you'll be able to import high quality textures while keeping your world performance friendly. In addition to importing textures with models, you can also import individual textures in the desktop editor. In this case, we go back to the editor, Asset Library, My Assets, and we click Add New Texture. From here, we can select our PNG formatted texture on our device and then click Import, which will bring it into our editor so we can use it however we see fit. Remember that you'll still want to use consistent naming conventions and folder structures to keep your assets organized and easy to find. Now let's explore how to generate unique textures directly in worlds using the Gen AI tool. To create a texture with Gen AI, we first want to select the model that we will be applying our texture to. In this case, I'm going to be applying Gen AI texture to our duck frames model, because I don't know, I don't like the blue anymore. From there, we select the Gen AI panel in the world's editor and select generate a texture. The tool will automatically bring up a bunch of prompts that we can select from, but we can also write our own. In this case, I'm going to select the reptilian scales because I think that's going to make my duck look really cool. So we select it, and Horizon AI goes to work creating our texture for us. Remember that the tool creates a texture based on a prompt. So you do want to be specific and concise to get the best possible results. Generating textures for one mesh at a time also works best so that you can iterate quickly. Once the mesh is generated, you can then save and download the generated texture for further refinement. To ensure the best results when using AI-generated textures, it's essential to have a clean UV map for your model. A well-optimized UV map should have a single square texture, avoid overlapping islands, and be consistent in scale and orientation. By leveraging the power of Gen AI and maintaining clean UV maps, you can create stunning unique textures that bring your models to life. When you import textured models into worlds, you might notice that they look different compared to how they appeared in your modeling software. This is due to how global illumination, or GI, is calculated in worlds. GI is the process of applying light to the geometry of your world and calculating how that light bounces off surfaces to create indirect lighting. In worlds, GI is performed by applying light to the geometry and calculating how it bounces off surfaces based off their reflectivity. This indirect lighting is what determines the final appearance of your textured models. So there are several factors that can impact the rendering time and lighting quality of your textured models in worlds. Models with high number of vertices and polygons will take longer to render and light properly. The material shader used on your model can affect how it reacts to light and how quickly it renders. High resolution textures provide more detail but also require more processing power to render and light. To ensure the best performance and visual quality for your textured models and worlds, you want to follow these optimization tips. 
First, reduce the number of vertices and polygons in your models without sacrificing visual fidelity. Next, use the smallest texture resolution that still provides the desired level of detail. And finally, test your models and worlds and adjust your textures and materials as needed to achieve the desired appearance under GI lighting. By optimizing your models and textures, you'll ensure that your worlds look great and run smoothly for all users. This will also improve the performance of the GI cache, which is responsible for light rendering in worlds. Remember, finding the right balance between visual quality and performance may require some trial and error. So put your newfound knowledge into practice with these next steps. Test different material settings to find the perfect texture for your world. Explore the Gen AI tool to generate unique textures and apply them to objects in your worlds. Optimize your texture models by reducing polygon count and texture resolution. And compare performance before and after optimization. Until the next video, keep experimenting and keep creating. I can't wait to see what you'll create.